Welcome to the week two edition of the fifth down. I'm Travis Kozak and I'm Shannon McGrath and last week was a big one for the Alpena Wildcats who won their first season opener since 2010. That's right and with the Cats earning as many wins in one week this season as they had each of the last two seasons, the green and white took the field tonight with a newfound confidence. Alpena returning to Wildcat Stadium tonight for its home opener against the Sioux. The Wildcats and Blue Devils were scoreless after the first half of the Sioux comes out of the locker room fast. On the handoff, Reno Anderson refuses to go down, then gets to the outside for the big gain. Then later in the drive, QB Michael James keeping it all on himself on the option, and that's the right option. James making a lot of Wildcats miss before he finds Pater and puts the Sioux up 7-0. Alpina wasting no time responding, though, on the ensuing kickoff. Jordan Ferguson fields the high hop and then weaves his way deep into Blue Devils territory, showing off the speed right there, and the Wildcat offense is able to finish it off. Tyler Pintock and Tim Atkinson work in the slant to perfection. The Cats would miss the PAT, though, so it's 7-6 Sioux. That's where things stood after the third, but in the fourth, Alpina finding more success through the air. Pintar throws a perfect ball to Dylan Hose, who runs untouched into the end zone. That gave the Wildcats a 14-7 lead, but the Sioux fought back, and a late-game pick six by the Blue Devils proved to be the difference. The Sioux spoils Alpina's home opener 20-14. In Onaway, the Cardinals and Hurons defense dominating the game. Halfway through the first half, Onaway on fourth and four. RC's Jacob Maloka trying to go through the middle, but seniors Matthew Tolini and Christian Cleaver throwing him right to the ground to cause the Hurons to turn over on downs. Two minutes left in the first, Onaway on third and 13. Tolini throwing all the way down the field, but it goes right over the head of Cody Morrell, sending the ball back to the Hurons. Second half, Tolini doing all the work now. No one to pass through, so he goes right down the line to bring the ball up to the midfield. But a Cardinals personal foul on the play sends the Cardinals back to where the play begins. Six minutes later, Tolini again going right through the defense and up the field, giving on away the first down. But the next play is all Roger City. Tolini's Pitch to Tommy Auger, going right through his hands. Jacob Maloki recovering the ball. The first half ends scoreless, but in the second, RC gets the best of Onaway, scoring two TDs at the start of the third, winning 22-7. to Let's take a look at some other scores from around the area tonight in North Star League action. Whittemore Prescott winning big in Oscoda. Travis McDonald had a big night for the Cardinals, rushing for 152 yards and three touchdowns while also adding one receiving score. Atlanta hit the road for the second straight week, and once again, the Huskies couldn't get much going offensively. They fall to Central Lake 30-12. to Hillman got a dramatic one-point win at home in week one, but they weren't able to carry that momentum to East Jordan tonight. Mason Van Pamel hauled in two touchdown catches for the Tigers, but Hillman still falls 42-26. Joburg earned its first win of the season tonight. Nick May rushing for 141 yards and a score to help the Cardinals pass Inland Lakes 44-30. And one score from last night, Rapid River putting together a big game on the ground en route to a 62-26 victory. This fall, the North Star League looks a little different with the addition of Roger City and three teams from the former four-team Huron Shores Conference. That's right, and while Talos was the one team to not join the NSL this year, the Braves still getting a taste of the North Star League tonight. The Thunderbolts hosting the Braves and showing they mean business early. Second and goal for the home team, Bradley Rhodes, taking the snap and running right in for a touchdown. 6-0 Mayo, halfway through the first quarter. Tawas doing some work to get on the board. Justin Karinovic completing the diagonal pass to Austin Brown. First down, Braves. Six zip bolts at the start of the second. Karinovic again with the diagonal pass, but this time Mayo's Kyle Willoughby says thank you kindly. Touchdown, Mayo. The Bolts taking the 12-0 lead. Three minutes later, Karinovic passing to Eric Thatcher, who finds the open space to put Tawas on the board 12-6. But in the second, Mayo extends their lead even more, taking down Tawas 34-19. Down in Lincoln, Alcona looking to improve to 2-0 tonight, hosting Augre Sims. The Wolverines trying to spoil the Tigers' night, though. Brett Mazur bowling his way for a nice chunk of yards early, but then the Alcona D tightens up on fourth and long. Josh Mead drills Sawyer Freeling, forcing the fumble, and the Tigers 
pounce on it. Ensuing out corner drive, the Tigers making the most of the turnover. Cody Franklin gets to the outside for the first down on the QB keeper. Then later in the drive, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Franklin doing it all by himself once again. Taking it in for the score, and Alcona takes the early 8-0 lead. After the Tigers' D, force an all great punt. The Alcona O goes back to work on the ground. Josh Mead grinding out big yardage on the sweep. Then just after the start of the second quarter, Alcona finishing off the drive quite nicely. Garrett Norling goes up the middle, then blows by everyone for six. The Alcona defense still hasn't given up a single point this season as the Tigers take down the Wolverines. 54 to 0. 